Hi everyone, this is just going to be a short tutorial on how to do this disk mesh. Um, so all I like to do and what I use is a Houdini and I like to uh, usually apply like a vertex color onto my mesh so I don't have to use this uh, dedicated alpha uh, texture and also I like to create a second UV channel in case I want to you know add some additional functionality to the stuff I create. So we're just going to go through um, this and basically how to set it up in uh, Houdini. So first make sure that you have side labs uh, available to you. So to enable it you have to go you have to click on this plus button go into shells and click this uh, tick this box essentially and this tab should uh, appear in your Houdini and you should have this icon available which is update tool set. If you see the icons it seems like you already have this installed if not then click on this icon and install the tool set. You probably have to restart Houdini after that okay. Right so let's start from scratch. So I'm just gonna create a geo node. I'm gonna call it and disk tutorial and in here I'm just gonna press tab and type disk and you should have labs disk generator a node available to you it's very small although it's a normal Houdini scale what I like to do I like to run it through transform and then transform I usually add about 50 scale before I will export it into the game engine it seems like um, the default Houdini scale it's way too small for the game engine so people recommend uh, setting this to 100 um, but I like to start with 50 and then if I need I can either um, you know change the scale in, in the game engine on the particle system or just go back into Houdini so 50 seems like the, um, a good value for me to work with okay now we need to create a second UV channel as well so I'm just gonna type UV project and in UV project I'm just gonna add two here so basically I'm gonna say use UV channel 2 with the default settings okay so now let's see what we created if you're gonna go to the UV viewport uh, and here you can choose it from different UV channels that you've created so this is the default one and I like to use this a lot so basically here you've got the center of the circle and here at the top you've got the, the edges of the circle of the disk okay so I like to run the texture often to go from the center towards the edges or all the way around especially when it comes to warping textures and no those kind of mechanics in the, in the material editor and I also have a second UV channel and I actually use it a lot when it comes to uh, textures that are shape of the circle. So if you followed my circular um, texture series, you can basically apply one of those textures for this UV channel and add some additional functionality on your UV channel uh, one, okay? Okay, so let's go back maybe to the disk and see what else we could create um, with those settings that we've got available to us. So I think default settings in terms of um, divisions is a little bit too small. So I'm just going to increase it to, let's say, 32 and on V, let's say maybe 12. So if you want to create some sort of ripples in the game engine using vertex offset, uh, you probably need more geo. But I think this is like a good number for me to work with, mm, 32 and 12. The next thing what I like to do is uh, vertex color. So uh, I'm just going to offset this to the middle and create another node here, 0.95, which will be black. And I want to set this one in the middle to be something around 0.1 or even, um, yeah, 0.1 seems like a good value. And in here it depends what you want, if you want a, like a soft transition you probably want to set this to be white and in the middle but what I like to do I like to set it to 0.3 and another one at 0.7 okay so now in the game engine I can multiply uh, vertex color in the materials to get the alpha so my texture you know will be alpha here and in the center and then I can run additional stuff 
uh, through my uh, various UV channels that I've created. Mm. Yeah, so I think that's it. Make sure that whenever you import into the game engine, you're taking the uh, tick box that you actually want to import it with the uh, uh, vertex color, and then you can basically manipulate it further. Um, the next thing which we probably gonna export, uh, explore at some point will be the noise. So let's say you want this, you know, mesh to be a little bit distorted. So you can do this and then you can um, set here what kind of axis you want to uh, distort. And so there's a lot of uh, choice for you there. Uh, another thing would be to uh, change the curve ramp. And I think that's really cool because you can create like a really cool uh, uh, settings here. So I'm going to set interpolate to Bezier. And now whichever um, node I'm going to create here is going to be in the Bezier as well. So imagine this could be like some sort of planet with some rings. So the planet will be in the middle and you have, have this curved mesh that actually swirls towards the center okay so you can create really cool stuff with it also feel free to experiment and you know add a little bit different uh, mesh variations so um, yeah you can have uh, various um, options here and create various effects with those meshes but for now it's just gonna stick with the basic uh, disk uh, okay all right so again it's just very short tutorial uh, maybe you'll find it useful you probably know how to do it but uh, just make sure that you use the vertex colors for your meshes and uh, second UV channel as well to your advantage so you can create additional um, some material magic using uh, that data okay if you're using some different software like uh, Blender, Max, or Maya, uh, you probably have ability to uh, do it as well, but early on in my career, I actually don't use uh, that data that was available because I didn't know I actually could. Um, so maybe that will give you some insights and uh, maybe you'll start using the uh, vertex color so you don't need a dedicated alpha texture. And also maybe, you know, second UV channel. I think it's extremely useful for the um, VFX artists. Uh, to use okay so experiment with those two and see what you could uh, create all right thanks for watching